What's up guys? We're back with another epic box opening. Today we're opening a first edition hobby, the Lost Millennium box. Yeah, hobby box. If you don't know what that is, check out my old video about hobby versus retail. Basically, we can pull, we have a chance to pull the ultimate rare ancient gear golem, the ultimate rare flame wingman. It's going to be pretty crazy. Hopefully we can break the GX streak and pull something awesome. But before we get started the giveaway, I'll be giving away these three cards, ultimate rare, alumni, megamorph, and ceasefire. All you got to do, like the video, be subscribed, let me know your favorite card from the Lost Millennium. There's a lot of good ones to choose from, like the Elemental Heroes, etc. But let's get into it. Okay, let's crack open this $2,000 plus dollar box. This is going to hurt. Here we go. Whew. Okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. Here we go. GX has really burned us in the past. It has big time burned us. We have had one big pull from GX ever on the channel. Cyberdark Dragon Ultimate Rare, which is a huge card. I did get a PSA 10 after I regraded it. So we're going to risk it again. Enemy of Justice just destroyed us a few times. If you guys have been around a long time, you remember that. It was crazy. But uh, let's hope that the Lost Money will treat us well. We have approximately one Ultimate Rare, or two Ultimate Rares, and one Ultra Rare in this box. That's usually what happens with the uh, GX boxes, or at least the ones with Hobby Retail Split. Here we go. Booster box of the Lost Millennium. I've always wanted to open an actual booster box of this. Okay, these packs are everywhere, so I don't know what that means. They're going everywhere. Let's just do like that. Maybe that'll help. Let's pull one pack out. Okay. Let's set this to the side. Very expensive box, so I appreciate it if you guys like this video, etc. All that stuff. Let's go ahead and start opening. Let's pull something good. I hope you guys are hyped about this video, because I just decided, you know what? We got this box. Let's just open it up. Obviously, the goal for the ultimate, the ultra rare, which are one in twenty-four per box, so it's actually kind of weird because they're actually harder to pull than ultimate rares. We would like the ancient gear golem, obviously, and ultimate rares. We want the ancient gear golem, the flame wingman, thunder giant, wing karibo, and like brain control is all right. We wouldn't mind Rashef either; those are pretty cool. So here's Hida, the fire charmer. Not too many like crazy valuable commons. There are the elemental heroes though, which is cool. Final ritual of the ancients. Here we go. twice oh my goodness we got an ultra ulti finally i didn't think it would be that fast oh my goodness and the centering is pretty good on it wow i didn't even get a chance to talk about why the ultra ultis are so hard to pull so basically in the hobby boxes wow that is clean okay all right that's amazing. We're going to have to card save this thing right away. Okay, here we go. Great start to this video. Let's go ahead and put a tab on there, which are not required, but they are definitely helpful. And we're going to card save this thing because this thing is going to PSA. I don't care about the new prices. We're sending it in express. $150. Oh my goodness. What a pull. That guy's clean. Centering on it is a, a smidge off. It's a smidge off. Ultimate rare. So the ultra rares can the ultra rares and super rares come as ultimate rares and hobby boxes. It's really tough to get the ultra rares as ultimate rares. So I've probably opened like 11 or 12 hobby boxes and I've only ever pulled two ultras as ultis. This makes number three. Wow. And one of them was uh, Voltanus the Adjudicator or whatever. It's like the worst one from Enemy of Justice. So that's huge. Let's just go ahead and set. Let's just go ahead and set that. Down. Let me just set this aside uh, somewhere safe. Okay, so the first pack, we pull a Flame Wingman. So I did have that in PSA 10, and I ended up trading it to one of my friends, and it was a little bit sad. It was a little bit sad. I didn't pull that one, though. I actually bought that one. So I made a little bit of money on it, and I think I had something I needed to buy, so I sold it. So that'll be nice if we can get that in PSA 10, and whenever I pull something and get a 10, something like that, I just don't sell it. So like Blue Eyes Shining... Uh, people ask me to sell that all the time. I got my Rainbow Dragon. Even though those got nines, um, my Jinzo, stuff like that. That's the stuff I just hold on to. So we already got an Ultra Rare. Is this the Legendary Box with two Ultra Ultis? I've seen it happen. Mega Rock Dragon, two foils right off the bat. Wow. I've seen it happen. And actually, the guy I saw do it, I believe, I'm, I think I'm right about this, was the guy who traded me this box. 
he, I believe, pulled an Ancient Gear Golem and a Flame Wingman out of the same box. I know he pulled two Ultra Ultis out of the same box. I'm not 100% sure that it was Ancient Gear Golem. I remember that he pulled Flame Wingman. Oh, actually, I, I saw... So I think 416 Rare Cards did that as well. So it's, it's definitely possible to do it. So we're praying. We are praying, guys, that we got the Ancient Gear Golem as well. I mean... I can't even ask for more, but if we did, that's insane. Doriata's Blessing. If we did, we're sending it to PSA tomorrow. Token Feastable. Okay. Kamenate Blue. Also, there's Charmer. Shifting Shadows and Lost Guardian. Yeah, so the uh, the commons in here, like even the, you know, the Avian and the Fire Charmers and stuff, they're not really worth anything at all because you can find first edition the Lost Millennium retail packs pretty easily. They have gone up finally. They were like a dollar or two for many years they finally gone up because it's just getting tough to find any old packs and everything's expensive now gift of the martyr but still it is pretty easy to find these commons spark man it's a cool card mindfoot eruption cryo sphinx okay cryo sphinx medusa worm that's an annoying card and lone wolf yeah so we are looking for the ultimate one more ultimate rare and one more ultra rare well, one ultra rare in general. Because sometimes you will have boxes without ultra rares. That is possible. Mindfield Eruption. We got a Death Wombat. Clayman. Level Conversion Lap. Hyro Co Sphinx. Yeah, nice. Nice super rare. So yeah, this is um this is the card that I used to hate because I used to pull it all the time. Because I'd get a TLM retail and I would pull that every single time as my supers. I pulled like four out of twenty packs once or something like that. It was something insane. Absolutely insane. Whew. Yeah, I'm glad we decided to open this. I'm glad we decided to open this, because this is crazy. Burst of Tricks. Final Rich of the Ancients. Soldier. Kazaki Self-Destruct Button. Okay. Win the Wind Charmer and Lost Guardian. Too bad they aren't Starlight Rares. Charmers. That'd be nice. Okay, yeah. If you're watching this, you're not subscribed. Make sure you subscribe for more epic openings. I appreciate all you guys that do that. Heat of the Fire Charm. We got a level conversion lab. Clayman. Eria. DD Survivor. Not a bad card. I think it got reprinted a ton. So even it used to be worth a little bit. Now it's under a dollar. So under a dollar at that point, it's not really worth too much. To me, at least. I don't like to sell cards that are under a dollar. It's very... Uh, time consuming for not much when you sell them on like paypal or on tcg the fees just are like over half of what you made area of the water charmer percentage tricks grave oha okay miss polymerization king of the soul servants and double attack i can't believe we pulled that guys that's insane first pack i thought it was the ultra rare first i had to look at it for a second because the na doesn't pop the N okay the north american print doesn't pop out as much as the European. Like the European, you would tell right away because it sticks out of the card. But for, we got Royal Surrender, White Ninja. But for the North American, it's kind of flat. So you kind of got to flash it around and see that it's an ultimate. Which is kind of why a lot of people like the European, especially the Lost Millennium. The Lost Millennium European is really awesome. It looks really good. I used to have a PSA 9 Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Rare. It looked really, really good. Final Ritual of the Ancients. I've had some bad luck with with Ancient Gear Golem. Mid Shield Gardena. I've graded two PSA 9s. One of them I thought was for sure a 10. I bought it raw for like 200 and something dollars. This was a long time ago. It was like in 2019, I think. And because it was the last card I needed. I had Thunder Giant PSA 10. That was the one I sold to help me get that LOB box from Los Angeles. I had Flame Wingman and I had Rechef. I still have Rechef. Sparkman. Hey, Doriato, nice. I just sent one of these in, that one that we pulled to PSA. Yeah, so I was really trying to get the Ancient Gear Golem as a PSA 10, because then I would have all the Ultra Ultis as PSA 10, and I graded two 9s, so it was unfortunate. One of them was super nice. I thought it was going to get a 10, and it ended up coming back a 9, which was pretty sad. And I missed out on a couple of sales back when they were under 1,000, unfortunately. Ancient Gear Soldier. Oh. Um... Oh my goodness, I thought that was an ultimate rare, ultimate insect. That was scary. That was scary. Okay, super rare ultimate insect. So what is that? Three supers? Three supers and an ulti. So that's four foils. That's about ratio so far. So we're on the second half right here. We're going to move these over. Second half of the box. Okay, so the weird thing is sometimes you can map these. 
this could be the ultimate rare because it's on the top. Just because I don't want to... Uh, let's just keep this for last. I don't want to ruin the suspense if it is an ultimate rare. Uh, I don't know if you can map TLM or not, but for Enemy of Justice, when we opened, I think, nine boxes of that, they were all mapped. So, like, I could tell exactly where the ultimate rare was going to be. So, it's something you got to look out for from this kind of stuff. Even if they don't, aren't, like, weighed, then they can also be mapped. So, that people also say you can do that for Glossy LOB. I'm not sure if it's 100% true or not. But it's not... Uh, for ultimate rares, it's like they're literally across from each other. That's what that's what happens. It's kind of weird. Rock Bombardment. We get a Pikachu second sight. Death Wombat. Interceptor Cannons. Spell Stopping Statute. Yeah. Ooh. Not the rare you're looking for right there. Okay, next pack. Here we go. Can we get an Ultra Rare? As well as another Ultimate Rare. That'd be pretty awesome. Ancient Gear Golem. Or we can get another Flame. That'd be cool to get another Flame Wingman. Doriata's Blessing. Avian, the Rock of Bombardment, the Millennium Scorpion. Okay, these cards are very, I like how clean these are. They're just easy to, to, to go through. Sometimes cards like stick, but these are not. It's not with these. These are very nice. This box was in very good condition, so it makes sense. It didn't seem to have any sort of uh, where, you know, sometimes if people store, store them in like too hot or too cold of places or like it's all dusty or something, it'll mess up the condition. Oh, there's the ultra rare. We did get the Flame Wingman. We got a Flame Wingman Ultra and a Flame Wingman Ultimate Rare. Check that out. One box. This is the Flame Wingman box. Time out. Time out. Okay. Okay, a little bit of a divot right there, maybe? Okay, we'll probably still sub it. You know, why not? Probably going to send it at the uh, value level now, which is the old bulk. I did find out, though, that the value level is now... Um, a $500 declared value. Even though a lot of people didn't follow that anyway, they would just send whatever they want in bulk, and they still do. But now it's a $500 max declared value instead of $100, which is actually really awesome. So if you're, you know, doing it the right way, you can send more expensive cards at that level, which is pretty cool. Sparkman, Nitro Unit. That's actually what the original regular was. So I think the regular was 20 before, and it was a $500 max declared value. So now basically... They just have the regular as the lowest level. That's pretty much what it is. Alright, we got Doriata's Blessing. Area of the Water Charmer. Ancient Gear Soldier. Gift of the Martyr. Token Feastival. Battery Man AA. And Monk Fighter. I think, I, I think that we might have uh, mapped this box, to be honest. It's going to be very nerve-wracking if we did, though, because the last pack will have an ultimate rare. And <laughs> what if it doesn't? What if it doesn't have an ultimate rare? Alright. Area of the Water Charm. We got Doriato's Blessing. Avian. Minefield Eruption. Cryo Sphinx. Okay. And Miss Polymerization. Okay. Okay. I'm getting nervous, guys. I, don't, I shouldn't be nervous, though, because, like, no matter what we pull, it's a great box. To pull an Ultra Ulti out of GX is insane. If you guys have not seen my old videos opening GX, then just, you gotta watch them. Like, it was before most of you guys were here. But I got railed every single time. It was getting so frustrating when I bought nine boxes of Enemy of Justice. And we never pulled... Well, we pulled one. The last box I opened, Ultra Ulti, the worst one in the set. <laughs> so it was pretty tough. It was pretty tough. So doing it in the first pack was crazy. It's crazy. Okay, level conversion lab. Clay, man. It's nice. I don't have to be so nervous. Okay, Ancient Gear Beast. I actually, I'm grading one of those as well. I think we pulled one. Or maybe I just got a minty one somewhere. I can't remember. Okay, we have three more total packs. What have we... We've only pulled one Ultra. So we've got an Ultra, three... Okay, we should have a Super at least. Not necessarily, because we... You might not have four Supers. But we might have another Super. Sparkman. Minefield Eruption. Clayman. There's a Hero Signal. That's such a cool retail Ultimate Rare. That'd be really awesome to have a Hero Signal Ulti. That'd be awesome. All right, final pack, the Lost Millennium. Okay, not final pack. Final pack until we hit the potentially mapped Ultimate Rare. We're going to see. We don't know for sure, but I have a sneaking suspicion. Yeah, you got to be careful. If somebody's selling loose hobby packs, then, which rarely happens. Hobby packs are tough. They're tough to find. Cannons. Card of Sanctity. Okay, we'll take that. Yeah, a lot of people don't even know about hobby retail at all, so they buy retail packs thinking that they can pull the hobby cards, and it's just kind of a disappointment at that point. You're like, wow, I can't even pull that card 
and King of the Skull Servants. Okay. The finale, guys. The moment we've all been waiting for since the first pack. There should be two ultimates in the box. So this should be it. I'm nervous. Can we pull another Ultra Ulti? Thunder Giant, Gear Go obviously Gear Golem is the absolute dream to pull. The absolute dream. So we're going to try and go for that. All right, guys. <sighs> Hit the like button for luck. The ultimate like button. Here we go. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been a lot of fun, obviously, for me. And we pulled the, the crazy card. Okay, burst into tricks. <sighs> Final Ritual of the Ancients. We've got an Ancient Gear Soldier. Gift of the Martyr. Okay, we've got Ancient Gear Soldier. We just need the, the, the daddy, the golem. Here we go. Gift of the Martyr. Dun 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 Yes, we got a Reshef the Dark Bean. Oh, why is the why do the stars look like that? Okay, the centering is terrible on this one, which is kind of funny. Um the centering is good on the flame wing man, so I'm glad that this one was the one that's poorly centered. We got another ultra ulti, so we will take this all day. What a fantastic box! What a fantastic box. So it wasn't the huge gear golem, but we hit two of the best cards you can hit. So let's go ahead and go over what we got. All right, guys, from the Hobby TLM box, we got four supers, Mega Rock Dragon, Card of Sanctity. We got an Ultra Rare. We got the Elements of Flaming Wingman. That's not in every single box, so that's really awesome. We got an Ultra Ulti for Chef the Dark Being. Amazing. And not only that, we got the legendary Flame Wing Man. This is crazy. So I I don't know. I think that hobby boxes, when you pull an Ultra Ulti, you seem to pull two most of the time. Because whenever I see, or at least in TLM, whenever I see this from TLM, there's two. I've seen uh, Gear Golem and this together. I've seen Reshef and Gear Golem together. And now we've seen these two together. So that is so awesome. What an amazing box. I hope you guys enjoyed this GX hobby opening. It turned out really well. I'm super excited. So thank you guys for watching and make sure you subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. And that's it for today. See you guys later. Peace. Oh! Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs> So they're really it's really tough to get the ultra rare as ultimate rare.